Hola gang and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, your Old Nerd of the Day, and I do try things so you don't have to. We are having frozen pizza today, and I hope it's good. Um, headed over to local grocery, hit the frozen section, found a pizza that I've never tried before, and so today we are going to take a look at Jack's. This is an original thin crust Canadian style bacon pizza. Yeah! From what I understand, Jack's Pizza was founded by Jack Elric in the early 1960s and it began as a carryout pizza business. And they have various options. They have thin crust, they have a rising thick crust, and they have these pizza dippers also. I've never seen the pizza dippers or the rising, uh, uh, rising crust ones. It's made with real Wisconsin cheese, so those moo cows ain't fooling around. Okay, so how are we supposed to cook this thing? Preheat the oven to 425, remove pizza from the wrap and cardboard, place directly on the center oven rack and bake for approximately 11 to 13 minutes. And then, of course, I'm going to let this stand for about five minutes after it's done. So when I cut into it, all the any sauces, any oils or anything doesn't seep down into it and make that crust a little bit soggy. So anyway, okay, let's take this into the older kitchen. Give it a shot. Take the wrapper off and see what this thing looks like. I love the, the packaging of this. It looks old, retro, distressed a little bit. Um, and it says since 1960 right there. That's very cool. I, I love advertising and packaging that is really well done. Okay, um, I'm not a thin pizza guy. I like thick crust. Um, this looks cheap. I hate to say cheap, but it really does. It looks like a, like a Tony's Pizza or, you know, one of the, the very cheap pizzas. Decent amount of Canadian bacon covering it. I'm not necessarily expecting real good things out of this. You can see the sauce down in here covered with a lot of cheese. Usually what I do is I take my pizzas and I add extra shredded cheese to the top. But just for the sake of this review, we're going to get it straight out of the package the way it's supposed to be. And, and go from there. So anyway, oven just went off. Let's go ahead and put this in. Got my pizza stone here. Plop it down, put it in, set a timer for 13 minutes. It said between 10 and 13. I'm gonna go for the full 13. I'll probably check it at about 12 to see how it's doing. Maybe 11 or 12. In my arsenal today, I've got my handy dandy pizza flipper taker outer thing. <laughs> it's, it's nice, no matter what you call it. And I've seen some really cool ones. I'll go ahead and leave a link below in the description with uh, a big selection of these things. No matter what you call it, they're, they're really handy. And then, pizza cutter. Six months later. There's the oven. And there is the pizza out of the oven. You can see they're just browned around the outside. Cheese is all melted on top. So I'm gonna let that stand for five minutes, uh, let it rest, and then cut into it. Okay, five minutes is up. Let's cut into this. Cut's fairly easy. We'll look at that Canadian bacon there for you. Slide that aside. And put a piece on the plate. So, very thin. Not used to this thin stuff. Let's take a look at the underside. That's pretty well cooked. Yeah, that looks fairly good. It's just thin, thin, thin. All right. It has a good smell to it. it smells like a, a well put together pizza. Let's give it a shot. Uh. 
Try to get a big slice of the Canadian bacon. Okay, I'm shocked. Hmm. Got to get some of that crust. Mmm. All right. Let's take this by the numbers. This is actually good pizza. Um, the flavors are nice. The Canadian bacon, a little bit salty, has a nice texture and a nice flavor to it. Um, the the sauce is nice. Fairly good amount of sauce. I don't like my pizzas overly saucy or not enough. But this is just right, and it has a good flavor to it. Um, the cheese, nice and cheesy. Uh, it, it can always be a little bit more. That's just personal preference. I can always have more cheese. Um, and I, just for, for what it is, I, I like the crunch on the, um, on the crust. And um, yeah, color me shocked. All right, so I did pick this up over a grocery outlet. And the damage on the Jack's original thin crust Canadian style pizza was one dollar and ninety nine cents. So it it kind of has the same um, cost as the cheaper pizzas, or at least at grocery outlet. I don't know how much they are over at other stores. So you know prices may vary. So on the Nerdometer, I would give the Jack's. Original Thin Crust Canadian Style Bacon. I'm looking here at the thing so I can remember what I'm reviewing. Um, I think I would give this a high I like it. Yeah, yeah. Of course, the question of the day for you guys is, have you had the Jack's Pizza? Any of the Jack's Pizza? Tell me which one you had, which variety, whether it was a thin or a thick crust or even the dippers and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought. There you go, gang. Another review in the bag, and it was a good one. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you guys being here and for commenting and sharing and everything you do. I uh, love gabbing with you guys. If you uh, check the description down below, you'll see a lot of groovy links, including the handy dandy pizza, the thingy there. <laughs> whatever it's called um, and if you do all that you too can become a part of the I got it coffee swelling old nerd crony community okay you guys have a freaking awesome day and uh, I'll talk to you next time bye now